Hey y'all, and welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a quick, short video where I'm gonna show you how to take a high-res 3D scene rendered in Unity and down-res it so you can get some of that kind of older style, maybe PlayStation era or Dreamcast kind of lower resolution 3D look. This is a really simple technique. Let's check it out. All right, so here we're in Unity. This is my scene from my random scaling video. I added a free look camera, just a simple smooth mouse look script. So this is currently rendering at full resolution. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna down res the output of the game view camera and then redisplay it. So what I've set up is a what's called a render texture. So a render texture is a texture that you can render into. You can basically take each frame output by the camera, store it in this texture asset, this texture in memory, and then display that back to the screen. Now what we can do, the way we're gonna kind of play with this, is by controlling the resolution of that texture. So what I've done is I've created this render texture called low res full screen render. Now to create a render texture, all you have to do, let's put one in materials, you just go to create, and then you just choose render texture. We can make a new one. Let's make a new one, we'll call it low res render two. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, in my main camera, assign that low res render two to the target texture field for the camera. Now what we see, display one now says no cameras rendering because the camera's output is now being rendered into that texture, which isn't being displayed anywhere. So what I've done is set up a canvas with a raw image. We can actually just delete this and we'll make a new one. We're gonna go ahead and choose UI raw image. This will create the canvas and the raw image at the same time. And then we're just going to click on the rec transform, hold down the alt key and click to scale that raw image to the full size of the viewport. This is a UI element that is just replacing the viewport. Now, what we need to do in that raw image, let's pull this down a little bit so that we can see the inspector. Let's just take our low res render texture, our low res two, and drop it into the texture field of the raw image. Now note, I'm using a raw image, not an image in order to use a texture, not a sprite, you need to use a raw image instead of an image. And so now we've got that in, we can see that we're already getting this kind of pixelated look, but it looks a little distorted. And that's because in our low res render two, we're actually, we have a square texture. Our normal resolution would be something like 1920 by 1080 or higher. But what we're gonna do is go down, let's make it really extreme so we can really see it. We'll go to 320 by 240, right? So this will be the correct aspect ratio. And now if we enter play mode, we should see, there we go. Our scene is being rendered in this much lower quality. Now, what we're getting on this is some bilinear filtering, which is why it looks blurry instead of kind of crisply pixelated. So we wanna change that. We're gonna exit play mode select our low res render texture if it's not selected already. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the filter mode and change it from bilinear to point. And this is gonna show now the square pixels without trying to filter or blur them. We're doing no anti-aliasing and the rest of the settings should be fine here. Go ahead and play. And now we've got this pretty chunky pixel kind of old school looking low res render of our scene. So I actually have been meaning to kind of play around with this and do something with this. I really like this look. I guess there's a certain nostalgia for the kind of PS1 era for me. There's also some games like Devil Daggers that I think have taken this and, and done this as an aesthetic that's been really cool. There's definitely more that you could do to get that retro 3D look. Um, and there's some folks, there's actually a guy who has a product on the asset store, I haven't tried it but it's called, I think, PSX Effects, which does this downsampling and then a whole bunch more kind of reintroducing those kind of old school 3D artifacts. This is just a really simple take the camera texture and just 
squash it down and then scale it back up right to the size of the, the view. Right now the video is being recorded in 1920 by 1080, so we're taking a 320 by 240 texture and blowing it up. Super simple technique, but I think it could be kind of fun for, for some kind of aesthetic uses, and that's the subject for the video. So hopefully if you found that useful, drop me a like on the video so I can help be discovered by the uh, YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments. Also, always love to hear from you guys' suggestions for other topics. And if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please do consider subscribing. It kind of helps to keep me motivated uh, to make these videos for you guys. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.